I'm Dr. Taylor, and in this video, we'll debunk 10 common medical myths. We'll cover everything from vaping to antibiotics. Let's get started. Myth number one. Vaping is a healthy alternative to smoking. Vaping is less harmful than smoking, yes, but it is still not safe. E-cigarettes heat nicotine and other chemicals to create an aerosol that's inhaled. The CDC has reported thousands of cases of e-cigarette or vaping use associated lung injury, also known as e volley and patients have died from damage to their lungs. In particular, THC-containing e-cigarettes or vaping products have been linked to the highest rates of lung damage. Research also suggests that vaping is associated with higher rates of asthma, cardiovascular disease, and chronic lung disease. Myth number two, starve a fever, feed a cold. Fact, feed a fever, feed a cold. Your body needs calories when trying to fight an illness. When you have a fever, your body temperature rises, and so does your metabolism, meaning you have an even higher need for calories. To be honest, even more important than your nutrition is staying hydrated. Staying hydrated replaces the fluid you've lost through sweating. As another tip, it's recommended to avoid alcohol and caffeine when you're sick, as it can exacerbate dehydration. And make sure to sleep as much as you can. Myth number three. Eating carrots will improve your eyesight. This myth likely comes from British propaganda during World War II. During the 1940 Blitzkrieg, the Luftwaffe struck in darkness. The British Royal Air Force used a new secret radar technology to repel German fighters. To explain the country's newfound success with intercepting enemy planes without revealing the secret airborne interception radar tool, the British Ministry of Information told newspapers that the reason for their success was that British pilots were eating an excess of carrots, improving their eyesight. It turns out that eating foods rich in vitamin A, like carrots, can really only improve vision for people with vitamin A deficiency. Unfortunately, there's no evidence that people who are not deficient in vitamin A will experience any positive changes in their vision. But it's still a really cool story. Myth number four, getting regular haircuts makes your hair grow faster. Fact. Regular trims to the end of your hair doesn't affect how much or how quickly your hair grows. You're born with a certain number of hair follicles. Over time, some of your follicles stop producing hair, which helps explain in part why aging can lead to baldness or hair thinning. Trimming your hair at the ends doesn't affect the number of follicles you have. By getting regular trims, it is possible to avoid split ends, which make your hair look thinner and shorter. Things you can do to help your hair grow include ruling out nutritional deficiencies or hormonal abnormalities, eating a balanced diet, limiting chemical or color treatments, and limiting heat styling. Myth number five, we use only 10% of our brains. Fact, all studies that have been done suggest that we use way more than 10% of our brains. Through the use of technologies like PET, and fMRI scanning, scientists can monitor the activity of the brain. These scans have shown that even during sleep, all areas of the brain show some amount of activity. Myth number six, watching TV or reading in dim light is bad for your eyes. Fact, research suggests that reading or watching TV in dim light doesn't hurt your eyes. It can cause a feeling of difficulty focusing and may cause temporary eye strain, but there hasn't been evidence that it causes permanent changes to the anatomy or function of your eyes. Myth number seven, shaving your hair makes it grow back thicker. Shaving your hair doesn't change its color, thickness, or rate of growth. They've even done clinical trials to debunk this myth. What you're probably noticing is the blunt tip of freshly shaved hair. This can make the hair feel coarse and stubbly, which sometimes makes it look thicker. It also hasn't seen any sunlight or chemicals, which makes it seem thicker or darker, but technically it hasn't grown back thicker. Myth number eight, put Vaseline on a burn to help it heal faster. Fact. You should not apply ointments to a burn at home. In the past, some people have tried butter, grease, or oil to soothe burns. Unfortunately, these treatments can actually cause further damage by slowing the release of heat from the skin. Instead, you should try to immediately cool your skin after a burn. First, remove any jewelry or clothing to avoid trapping in the heat further. Second, run cold water over the burn for at least 20 minutes. Ice water or ice itself is too strong and exacerbates damage done to already vulnerable skin. Myth number nine, antibiotics treat viral infections. Fact, 
Antibiotics are medications that treat infections caused by bacteria. They do not treat infections caused by viruses, such as the flu. There are even some common bacterial infections that don't require antibiotics because they usually get better on their own. Many sinus infections and some ear infections fall into this category. So remember, taking antibiotics when they're not needed won't help you and they have side effects. Serious side effects of antibiotics include allergic reactions, the development of antibiotic-resistant infections, and infection with a bug commonly called C. diff that can lead to serious intestinal damage and even death. Myth number 10, don't swim soon after eating. It used to be said that you should wait 30 to 60 minutes after eating before you swim. The thought was that once you eat, blood may be diverted to your gastrointestinal system so that you could digest food, somehow taking blood away from your arms and legs and thus making you more likely to drown. It turns out there's no scientific research to back this up. Worst case, you might get a muscle cramp, but there's nothing to suggest you can't enjoy a swim in the pool soon after eating. Click here for more content like this. And please comment below. I can't wait to answer your questions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.